I just got in the pool, felt the crowd just lifting me for that race and just knowing that I was doing this for, for my daughter and for my coach who's just been behind me for so long now and just knowing the crowd was there and I could, I could kind of feel what the other girls were doing either side of me but knowing that I just had to ignore what they did and just do what I can do and just go out there. Friends have said that obviously watching the race, you know, if it was 105 metres I could have got her but I worked so hard and I just tried my best and all I know is I can, I'm quite good on my second 50 so I just had to hold on as, as I know I can and just you know, did a personal best, I couldn't ask for more than that. Baxter was quite hard because you're obviously, you know, you're looking up the, at the scene to keep yourself in a straight line and you focus on that. So you can kind of see a person at either side of you, but you can't tell exactly where they are. And with um, Lou Dong, she actually only kicks, so all I could see was a splash, but I couldn't actually work out where she was. It's right up there, you know, up the top. Obviously Athens was my, my biggest achievement of winning five medals, two gold. And yeah, I got silver in Beijing and I probably, back then I was disappointed, but you know, to to win a silver medal, personal best time, one year after having a daughter, I can't really complain at all. She's 14 months old and she's in the crowd cheering me on and she's the best thing in the world. Obviously I just have to juggle my time a bit better and obviously my husband swims as well, but we have a fantastic support network at home in Hereford and you know family and friends and just, yeah, she's, she's great, she fits into our lifestyle, she's an early riser, so perfect for morning training.